Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. Mark Kazi here from Black Hat Comics in Rockin' Milpitas. Every Wednesday is New Comic Day and I like to give you some great reasons to get down to your local comic shop and pick up something fun to read. It's a big, huge week, probably the biggest week we've seen in a while. A lot of great titles to talk about. A lot of things I'm real excited about. Gonna start with the DC guys because all month long it's been uh, Lego cover month. There's two covers to almost all your favorite DCs, regular ones and Lego ones. This is your new issue of Justice League. Got the whole gang on there, Lego, Lego style. Justice League is probably the biggest book they have next to Batman, so you want to be getting in and checking that out. Batman and Robin continues the Robin Rises stuff. Another cool Lego cover there. Batman, Superman. One of the cooler team up books. Batman Eternal, the weekly thing, does not have a Lego cover. None of the weekly books do, but still very cool couple of Batman 66 books this week. This is your last issue of Batman 66 meets Green Hornet. As I've been saying, totally awesome books, but worth it just for those cool Alex Ross Batman 66 covers. Really cool stuff there. The other one is a big thick one shot. This is Batman 66 The Lost Episode, uh, written by Harlan Ellison, one of the all-time greats. Uh, like I say, supersized, big old one shot. If you like Batman, if you like the Batman 66 stuff, that's one to check out. Batwoman rounds out your bat stuff, though it's also uh, Women of the DCU week this week. So, you got your Harley in your uh, cool Lego cover, which I guess also rounds out your Batman stuff. Of course, there's also a regular Harley cover with Power Girl on it. Wonder Woman's in three titles this week. Uh, this is the first issue with the new writer, art by David Finch. Uh, everybody's going to be wanting to get into this. If you were one of the three people who didn't read the previous arcs of Wonder Woman, you should really check them out because Brian Azzarello did a great job. This book's got three covers. That's your Lego one. Superman Wonder Woman, another one of the bigger titles DC has. And Sensation Comics is your previously online only and now in print. This is the third Wonder Woman I spoke of. No uh, Lego cover for this one, but still super awesome. Supergirl rounds out your women of the DCU stuff. Been really digging Supergirl for a long time, so you guys should be uh, jumping in on that because it's a really fun title. New Guardians is your Lantern uh, Godhead book of the week. Again, this stuff's been really picking up. A lot of the issues have been selling out, so I uh, should be getting in on this Green Lantern stuff, see what's going on. Grab the uh, Godhead one shot if you've missed it. Teen Titans, your cool Beast Boy Lego cover there. And that pretty much rounds out your Lego stuff. Red Hood and the Outlaws did not get one. Wah, wah. And Trinity of Sin number two also does not have a Lego cover, which is too bad because Phantom Stranger would make an awesome Lego. Uh, this is number two. You should grab the first issue of this because anything with Phantom Stranger is really awesome. The Weeklies. Got your Earth 2 Weekly and your New 52 Futures End Weekly. Of course, DC has three weekly books going on right now, and they're all pretty solid, so I encourage you to check those out, too. Big week for the Vertigo guys. Fables, biggest book Vertigo does. Catapulting to its conclusion. And Astro City, my favorite Vertigo book. Another one that's always worth the cover price just for those great Alex Ross covers. But the Kurt Busiek stories are also really awesome. Love me some Astro City. And Multiversity, Pax Americana concludes your DC stuff this week. Everybody's into the Multiversity stuff because y'all love Grant Morrison. Like I say, huge week from those guys. Big week for the Marvel guys too. Lots of this Axis stuff going on. Avengers and X-Men, Axis number six. Cool Scarlet Witch Doom cover there. Uh, I've got all the issues in stock, so if you're one of these uh, event holdouts, you should grab the first issue because you're missing out. It's solid stuff. There's a whole mess of Axis books this week. Avengers World, Axis Carnage, Axis Revolutions, and then just some basic books. Deadpool is an Axis book this week. Loki, Agent of Axis is obviously an Axis book this week. This one might be flying under your radar, and if so, you're missing out. This book's been a lot of fun. Grab the Black Cat Pack or the first volume trade paperback, and then jump in on this recent issue. And of course, Magneto. 
another huge Marvel book right now and obviously also an Axis book and this is another one you should really be checking out because everybody loves bad guy books. It's it for the Axis stuff but not for the event stuff because Spider-Verse is huge. This is Amazing Spider-Man number 10. Everybody's already got Amazing Spider-Man on their list. Uh, if you're one of the three people that doesn't, you might want to add it. Grab last number nine and grab this one because the Spider-Verse stuff is really cool. Spider-Woman number one. It's your other spider book of the week. Uh, spins out of all that Spider-Verse stuff. Everybody loves Jessica Drew. Uh, so you want to be checking that out. Weapon X is your only Death of Wolverine book this week. But there's lots of titles. Otherwise, you know I'm a big Avengers guy. Love the regular Avengers book. Got Cyclops on the cover there. And New Avengers also out this week. Uncanny X-Men. Speaking of Magneto... Speaking of some of the bigger books Marvel does, Brian Michael Bendis doing a stellar job. You can read more about this one in our newsletter. Rounds out the X stuff. Guardians of the Galaxy, another huge book that Marvel does. Fantastic Four out this week. A new story arc starts here. They're back in the blue suits. Again, read more about this one in our newsletter. You know I love the FF. I always encourage you guys to check that one out. Along with Daredevil. You know he lives in San Francisco these days. Everybody should be checking out Daredevil. Black Widow, another one of my favorite books, another one of my favorite Avengers, and Storm makes for your Women of the Marvel Universe stuff, and Moon Knight, and Punisher rounds out your Marvel stuff. As I've been saying, huge week for all the different publishers, some of the best books everybody does. Lots of good stuff for my friends at Dark Horse, you know I love the BPRD, that's your new issue of Hell on Earth. And this is your new issue of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. This is your Whedonverse book of the week. We know you love the Whedonverse. You can also grab the uh, trade paperback for Season 10, Volume 1 out this week. Or grab the corresponding Black Cat Pack. Dark Horse Presents, best anthology on the stands. Talk about this book every time it's out. If you're looking for something a little different, grab Dark Horse Presents. Self-contained, some of the best writers and artists in comics. And The Strain. You love the TV show. I love the writer David Latham. Good stuff there. Great week for Dark Horse. Cool week for the image guys. Deadly Class by my man Rick Remender. And Thief of Thieves are your two uh, already popular books along with Invincible. Did you know that the guy who does Walking Dead does a superhero book? Pick up Invincible. It's super awesome. Uh, and Intersect and Synergy are your two uh, first issue gotta have it image books of the week always fun from those guys Bob's Burgers is my dynamite book of the week just as funny as the show because it's written by the people who do the show uh, what more can you say it's Bob's Burgers come on that's issue number four we've got the others in stock so you want to pick all of those up because they're hilarious Exo Man of War is my Valiant book of the week. Loved Exo back in the day. Valiant's been doing a great job with all their stuff. Really encourage you guys to find a Valiant book and get it on your list. If you don't have one, you're really missing out. And a great week for kids' books. The Simpsons Winter Wingding is a giant sized Simpsons comics extravaganza. You know, I love the Simpsons stuff. Always encourage you guys to pick up the Bongo stuff like Futurama. Futurama, Futurama only comes out like three or four times a year, but again, just as awesome as the show. Uh, lots of fun. You love Bender. Pick up the Futurama comic because it's awesome. And Regular Show. It's my last kid's book of the week. Love Regular Show. Again, just as cool as the show. If you like the show, you'll love the comic. Always encouraging you guys to find more kid's books and slap them on your list. As you can see, tons and tons of great titles. So check those shipping lists. Get down to your local shop. Pick up something fun to read. That's all I got for you for this week. If that's not enough, then I don't know what to tell you. Uh, check us out on Facebook. Check us out at blackcatcomics.biz. Just get on down here to Rockin' Milpitas. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.